What's up everyone? It's Charity at Fountain Mortgage here with this week's Future Proof. So thank you, first of all. I am so grateful to all of you who participated in our recent survey about what kinds of topics you would like to discuss on in this format, in our Future Proof format. So we heard back from lots of our realtor partners um, and you guys had great topics, which is such a help to me because every week when I'm recording one of these, I have to kind of rack my brain um, to wonder what's going to be important to all of you. So this week, um, this came in on our survey, people wanted to know about ideas for uh, home office, especially in a small space, and ways to pro uh, to increase productivity at your home office. Um, I know we've all been home for a really long time, and I must admit that um, I'm going to hopefully practice what I preach in this. Uh, as I did my research for today's shoot, I saw all kinds of great home offices, and I must admit I don't have a great home office set up yet. I have been going into the Fountain Mortgage office um, a little bit. We all stay pretty distant there, but I do find I'm most productive at the actual office as my kids and my husband are home during during uh, quarantine. The number one thing I think that your home office should do for you is keep your goals front and center. A few weeks ago, we talked about having a great fourth quarter and establishing what your goals are for 2021 and putting those on a board or writing them down on something big to hang up. So that is my first tip. I'm going to say in your home office, have your goals in front of your face every single day when you're working. And not just the goals, but the action steps to get to those goals. Think about when you're working out or you have a fitness goal in mind, um, you wouldn't just put the overall goal up there without having a program to follow of what you're going to eat or what kind of exercise regimen you want to do. So I wanted to share with you um, this graphic here. This is a daily kind of a sample to do for daily, weekly, and monthly for specifically a real estate agent. Um, but I've said time and time again, you would never you know, eat right for one day, not see results, and then just give up. Um, and I think so many of us in our businesses tend to try something new in our marketing efforts or in our outreach, and we don't see immediate results, and so we give up. So I think this list um, right in your home office is going to be a huge part of your success because if you trust the process and follow the program and stay consistent, you cannot help but reach your goals and find success and probably go beyond what you thought you could do. So let's talk about space and the fun stuff and the design. I'm gonna throw a few pictures up here of um, ideas and things that I like when I was uh, looking through, but you know, a lot of us don't have the space in our homes to dedicate a whole room to a whole office. So today's uh, Future Proof really wants to focus on those small spaces. So. One of the ideas is a floating desk. Here's a picture of a floating desk. You can see you can attach this to a wall or even just push it up against your wall uh, if you find something similar on almost any room of your house and it's really gonna not um, impede on your family's day to day. I thought that was a great idea. Um, under the stairs, I have a desk under my stairs at our little lake place and it's actually a great way to um, stay out of the way. You've got the wall space in front of you. You're not, um, you know, in the floor path. No one else is walking there. So if you have some stairs in your house, consider doing a cute little under stairs desk like this picture here. What about in your bedroom? Like I'm in my bedroom now. Um, here's a picture of a nice little space of just a small desk in the bedroom. You know, we're so lucky to have um, all kinds of stores um, resale shops, Facebook marketplace, where you can pick up a really simple little desk. And then it's really how you accessorize and how you um, set up your space that's going to put you in the mindset for success. Speaking of that, um, something you want to do when you first set up your office is do a, a total purge. If you already have a space you've been working in, have you noticed when you go in when it's all cluttered and there's stuff everywhere, you're just not as efficient as the day after you clean that space and everything is in its place? For me, it really boosts my productivity. So as you're setting up your home office, think about purging the stuff you don't need, really going through those piles and getting rid of all of that, and then taking the things that you do use and making them pretty, putting them in nice storage boxes, um, things like that. So let's look at a couple more ideas here. If you have a dormer in your house, here's a cute little example of a dormer desk. Again, all these little nooks and crannies in our homes that we can find to really do some productive work. And then finally, here is a desk attached um, to a wall that's called a hallway desk. It looks like this one might be set up in the corner of a kitchen, but this would fit anywhere that you have um, an open space or even a hallway. You could also do the same thing with a floating 
corner desk. So once you've picked your spot and you've picked your little desk and you're feeling very cozy about it, um, let's talk about some strategies. We talked about getting organized. Um, another thing that I think is really important is establishing the right lighting. Lighting has such an effect on our mood. You might not even have a window where you are, so get a few lamps, a few task lights so that you don't have to have any kind of harsh overhead light on you. And when you walk into that space, you feel good and ready to go. Um, if it's a dark space, you might consider painting the walls white or a nice neutral color. Um, add a house plant or two. You can see I have a, a, a plant here. I think plants, little plants on the desk or a floor plant like this one um, does a lot to bring life to your space and also cleans the air for you so you'll be a little bit healthier. Um, use mirrors. Put mirrors up in your space to reflect that light and to make the space uh, look bigger. And then use that vertical wall space that you have. Um, that's really where you can put some open floating shelving, some storage solutions, and of course, your big fat goals for 2021. And most importantly, the action steps you're going to make on a consistent basis to reach those goals. So I uh, hope you enjoyed today's Future Proof. It was just a quick one on a home office. Thank you again to those of you who responded to our survey. If there's something you'd like to see or talk about on Future Proof, please reach out to me. Um, as always, I hope everyone is doing well, and I hope to see you soon.